Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? It's your boy Gavin Assidy here again with you and since it is Thursday yet again, we have our third episode of Storytime Thursday. And as for the title for this video, it will be about being horrible kids as uh, middle schoolers. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what to title this video, but it's related us to being really, really bogus middle schoolers. So this story goes back to about 7th or 8th grade. Now, I don't actually know if I could still get in trouble for this story or like if anybody would even remember it or whatnot, but for this purpose, for uh, other than my friends, the people involved, I'll just call them like Jane Doe, John Doe. I'm not going to give up anybody's name because I just, uh, I'd rather make it harder for them to find out about the story. But so back in my middle school, there were a lot of kids. So it was split up between two teams each grade. So there were sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And there was A team and B team for each grade level. Now the purpose was that was just to split up the kids to make it a little bit easier. Each team had a different set of teachers and whatnot. But back at this time, uh, you know, they were trying to do some new advancements in learning. So the smart board started to come around. I don't know if uh, you guys know about that now. I feel like more and more like middle schools and high schools are like implementing the smart boards. But basically, it's like an advanced chalkboard in a way like or a whiteboard like you they had like this it was all electronic everything was electronic they can draw and stuff and like read from the textbook on it and and it used uh bluetooth and this was like back when like bluetooth i want to say it was just like starting to get a bit more popular like having things with like bluetooth items and all that stuff but that'll come into play a little bit later in the story but back in, in middle school, we were learning about, like, the stock exchange and how stocks and bonds and everything works and all that. Like, very small stuff because we were middle schoolers. We couldn't really go too deep into all of that stuff. But back in middle school, the, the teachers thought it would be a good idea to, like, mimic the stock exchange. They wanted to give us an activity where we would be able to, like, get to experience how the stock exchange was. So what they did is um, the English and social studies classrooms um, on both teams were uh, were like a dual room with a, a wall in the middle that can be like taken apart. So it could be one giant classroom. And what they did was on the A team, which I was on the B team, on the A team, they uh, they opened the door, the uh, the wall, so it was one giant room, and they would have everybody, including B team. We would kind of like rotate in and out of uh, when we got to go in that classroom and kind of like experience the stock exchange. We all had a, a set amount of money and everything and there was all these like little booths and stands where you can buy stocks and stuff. And I think whichever team had the most uh, money at the end or something like that, they won a prize. But I'm not exactly sure. I really remember how all that worked. But I just remember them having one giant classroom where every there was a lot of kids in there maybe a hundred kids in there at a time and like five teachers or so chaperoning and watching how everything goes but like I said this was like when Bluetooth was starting to become a thing and there was this one kid that like nobody liked like everybody had a problem with he's just kind of like a jackass and nobody really liked and we'll just call him John Doe like I said because I don't want to give his name out but so John Doe, nobody liked him. He was just kind of like this this asshole in middle school. And uh, I had problems with him in sixth grade. I'll leave that for another story. But he, he was just a douchebag, right? And um, so we had him. And then, like, Ricky was on my team. We were on the B team. And we were in the room, like I said, with the A team. And there was this one teacher from A team. I didn't personally really know her at all. Ricky didn't really know her at all. But my friend Angel and my brother Spencer, they knew her because they had her as a teacher. They were on A-team and whatnot. But we didn't really know her. And, like, we heard she was kind of a bitch. Like, they didn't like her as a kid. Like, they say now that she was a cool teacher. But we'll call her Jane Doe, like I said. And they just didn't really like her at the time. So, like I said, this was, like, when Bluetooth was starting to become a thing. And we noticed that the smart boards, like I said, can connect to, to Bluetooth. And uh, Ricky had Bluetooth on his phone. And... He thought, we all thought it would be, like, the funniest thing ever if we, like, connected our phone. Because we noticed when you connect something to the, the smart board's Bluetooth, it shows up in a big message saying, 
blah 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 like the the username blah 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 wants to connect to you do you allow to connect to bluetooth so we thought it would be really funny to like put put like a really funny name or what we thought was a funny name and have it show up on the on the smart board because uh, Ricky realized, oh, you can change your Bluetooth name and, like, connect to people. And he said he's seen it before where it would be funny names and whatnot. So we were, like, horrible, horrible children. Because this was, a like I said, classroom of, one, like, 100 kids and five teachers. We're all in middle school, so everybody's immature is all hell. So we decide to put Jane Doe gets fucked in the ass by John Doe. And... Just remember, John Doe is is a, a middle schooler as well, and we put that as his Bluetooth name, or he put it as his Bluetooth name. So he puts it up, and we're in the middle of the stock exchange. Everybody's doing their own thing and whatever, and all of a sudden, everybody sees like Jane Doe gets fucked in the ass by John Doe. Big, big letters all over the smart board. And then more and more people start to notice it, and everybody's just like laughing, cracking up, and then... This teacher Jane Doe happens to turn and look at the um, at the smart board, and I was in the classroom at the time because I was my turn for the rotation to be in the stock exchange. Me and Ricky were both in there, and we were just like bawling. And this lady gets so embarrassed, and even the kid too, John Doe. Like I don't think he was there at the time when it happened, but everybody was just like she was like super embarrassed. Everybody's just laughing, laughing at her, and it was just like. Really, really funny, but so bogus. Like, we were so bogus. So then, Ricky, since he's he was like a little, like, like nerd kind of back in the day, and he he was like, oh, I got, I'm going to, uh, he took out the battery on his phone and turned it off so that way he wouldn't be traced. And then, like, five, ten minutes later, the uh, computer teacher comes in, and he's, like, trying to figure out who's putting this, who's trying to connect to the, the, uh, the Bluetooth and, uh, like, I don't know if he was, like, looking for, the, like, not even an IP address. I wouldn't even know what to call it, honestly. I'm not too, like, into all that tech stuff. But, honestly, I don't even believe that he would have been able to trace it or in any way. But he was in there, like, trying to find out who was in it. Everybody was trying to find out who it was. And nobody knew but, like, our group of friends. It was me, Ricky, Angel, Mo, and my brother Spencer. We were, like, the only ones who knew. And then maybe a few other people that we told and to this day we never got caught like ricky never got into any trouble and the funny part was like ricky was a really like good kid always did his work and whatnot so nobody would ever like none of the teachers would have ever suspected that it was him and it, it was just so bad like we were just horrible horrible children to put that on a on the smart board and, and she was just like so embarrassed she was all red and it, it was just funny but now looking back at it, it was probably one of the more bogus things we did as kids. But yeah, that's it for my uh, story time Thursday, this Thursday, episode three. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment what you guys want to see next. I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, so far, I've been getting more and more subs, and I appreciate it. And I've been uh, been been happy seeing more people liking and uh, viewing my videos. But also let me know what what you what you guys want me to work on if you guys see anything that I can improve just you know let me know leave a comment whatever and uh as usual you guys have a good one